Rules about whether you'll need a mask or not will differ county by county in Wisconsin. The state no longer has a mandatory mask mandate, and this time the governor can't issue a new one. The change is a, the result of a long-awaited Supreme Court decision. From the state Supreme Court, Naomi Coles joins us to walk us through the justice's thought process. Naomi? The governor has issued a lot of emergency orders since last March to control the pandemic and provide the basis for statewide orders like the mask mandate. The main issue that justices had to decide today was whether that went against the law. Wednesday's ruling voids the governor's mask mandate and blocks him from issuing new ones. Here's why. The law gives the governor 60 days for an emergency order. You still would have that first, the ability to have the first 60 day order in effect for future emergencies. And so it wouldn't affect that, that the governor still would be able to declare emergency in a similar situation for 60 days. But after that, the legislature has to extend it. Now, multiple orders into the pandemic, the state Supreme Court is enforcing that legal interpretation after the governor had argued he was responding to an evolving crisis. What the governor is claiming is that he is able to have extended emergency powers because the COVID pandemic itself, itself is evolving, it changes. And so that basically creates a new emergency every 60 days that he can then create a new executive order. Justice Brian Hagedorn said that was unlawful. He wrote this thinking could lead to, quote, granting the governor the extraordinary powers indefinitely. Such unilateral unchecked power was anathema to the framers of our constitutions, end quote. In a dissenting opinion, Justice Ann Bradley wrote, quote, This is no run-of-the-mill case. With the stakes so high, the majority not only arrives at erroneous conclusions, but it also obscures the consequence of its decision. In a statement, the governor urged people to keep wearing masks. Meanwhile, it's up to the legislature to work with him on any future orders, which Democrat leadership say is unlikely. I think this um, doesn't make it any more likely. Uh, given the lack of seriousness um, and the lack of response that Republicans have had on the COVID uh, pandemic, but um, it, we'll, we'll wait and see. Three Republican leaders didn't provide interviews, but in statements said they supported the decision and that it affirmed the legislature's authority. Now, this decision is a long time in coming. Justices first heard oral arguments for it back in mid-November, but they're only just ruling on it today.